Data released by professional services firm EY in October state there have only been 10 new listings on the London Stock Exchange this year. These listings raised only £580 million, and this is down nearly 50% since last year. Whereas in the US, the market is thriving. They've had over 190 IPOs in 2024, and this is up 33% since 2023. So it would seem that the UK is not a very attractive place to start a company, or at least list your company if it's big enough. So what is going on here? To tackle this disinterest in the London Stock Exchange, the UK government recently unveiled plans to revolutionise investing, and is considering this a world first. Project Pisces, the private intermittent securities and capital exchange system. It has been understated and underreported in the news due to other factors like pension reforms. But let's face it, the UK market could do with a little win right now. And in this video, we're going to see if this can make a difference. In a moment, we're going to take a look at the benefits that Pisces can bring to companies and investors alike. But first, let's tackle how it actually works. The platform had been initially proposed by the previous Conservative government a few years ago. And the basis of this was to legislate for a regulated stock exchange where private companies could trade their shares. The idea was, according to a Treasury statement, to trial a new class of wholesale market venue that operates on an intermittent basis, improving companies' access to capital before they publicly list. Pisces would create a regulated market for private shares, acting as a stepping stone to listing on public markets and allowing investors access to further growth stage companies. The concept will begin with a five-year sandbox period to determine if it should become a permanent piece of UK legislation. This sandbox period is a trial phase, effectively allowing for things to change along the way. During this time, it will operate at intermittent trading windows, meaning that shares will not be able to be traded throughout the day like the regular stock market. Instead, it will be at regular intervals like quarterly or yearly, depending on a company's financial reporting dates. Companies will also not be able to buy back shares and will not facilitate capital raising through new share issuing. Now let's break down some of the more important points laid out by the initial report. Only shares of companies not listed on a public market, either in the UK or abroad, can be traded on Pisces. This includes UK private and public limited companies, as well as overseas companies. Admission requirements, including minimum corporate governance standards, will be set by Pisces operators. Participation in Pisces will be restricted to institutional investors, employees of participating companies, and investors meeting the definitions of high net worth individuals or certified investors. Think of it like a VIP lounge for private companies where only select investors can enter, not open to everyone, at least not yet. Disclosures of trade will not be made public and the reporting of transactions will be kept private. Only those involved in these trades will be able to see this information. And finally, companies will not be able to buy back shares during this five year period, or will be able to issue new shares once on the platform. Thus, this cannot be used as fundraising or capital manipulation. So in short, Pisces aims to bridge the gap between private and public markets, giving companies a smoother transition to IPO. So what benefits can we expect from this new Pisces platform? Dan Coatesworth, investment analyst at AJ Bell, said that a perk of the market could be allowing private companies to get used to the feeling of some of the business being owned by others, which can often be a hurdle in listing publicly. It might act as a stepping stone towards a public stock listing, getting them used to regular financial reporting, transparency as a business, and understanding that a company is run for the best interest of shareholders, not the board of directors. It could also encourage their staff to develop a saving and investing habit. One of the biggest stumbling blocks for private company share ownership is that staff are often put off by the general inability to sell those shares at regular intervals. A lot of private companies won't offer the ability for staff to trade shares, meaning that some people are stuck owning the equity until the business either lists on a public market or there is an internal event where they could sell down. So the boost in availability for these companies to be listed on some form of market could actually improve these businesses and their fundamentals from the ground up. By helping support the pipeline of future listings on the public markets, Pisces will hopefully provide some well-needed growth in the UK economy, which could lead to higher growth in the stock market and have a knock-on effect to the overall health of the UK. So although you and I won't be able to invest directly through Pisces, it should contribute to the holdings that we have in the UK. And if Pisces is a success, it could lead to some great companies being listed on the stock market for us to invest in. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. The UK has struggled to attract major initial public offerings or IPOs in recent years, with some companies opting to list in other countries. So if investors already don't want to invest in UK companies, what changes with private companies? In theory, the potential for higher growth, but again, that's not guaranteed. If the overall UK markets aren't attractive to investors, then Project Pisces might not be as impactful as the UK government believes. Another point that I made earlier is that regular retail investors like us cannot invest through Pisces. Therefore, we are left out from this. This was only stated for the initial five years, but I'm sure if Pisces was a success, 
there might be a trial for retail investors in the future. The government also said that there won't be more transparency under Pisces. So this means that these listed companies on Pisces won't have to provide as much information as a regular stock market listed company, thus leaving the people outside of those Pisces investments out of the loop. So where are we currently at with this new project? The government hasn't yet provided a start date for this new project, but it has set out a five year sandbox period where the system will be tested and things can be changed if needed. There are sources that suggest that Pisces could start in May 2025, but this is not yet being confirmed. Although we won't be able to get involved in investing in some exciting new companies in the UK at an earlier stage, we can still receive the benefits of Pisces if it's a success. And hopefully the UK stock market, or just generally the UK, will see some benefit from this new project. For more news and updates on this new project coming in hopefully May 2025, hit that subscribe button to hear this news here first. Do you think that Pisces could revive the UK market? Let me know down in the comments. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Any suggestions on improvements to the video content, or if you want to find more out about Project Pisces, leave a comment below and I'll give you a reply. And thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I've been pushing for that over my last few videos and I'm excited to see where the YouTube channel goes from here. Thank you.